What's up guys, Andrew Vanner here, and on today's video we are looking at a beginner guitar from Donner. Donner is a company that sells pretty cheap guitars through Amazon and their own website. They send this over to me to try out and make a video. As you guys know, if you've seen any of my other videos, the first thing I like to do is show you guys a full mix. So we're going to show you guys a song that Johnny and I wrote on this guitar uh, using pretty much all of the available features and tones. And then after that, we're going to talk about the guitar, the specs, what it comes with, our thoughts, all of that good stuff. You got anything to add, Johnny? Nah, it good, man. It good, man. <laughs> Enjoy the demo. Here's how it sounds. So that is how this guitar sounds like in a full mix. Also, just as a side note, we pretty much only used free plugins to make all of the guitar sounds with this demo. Uh, we thought that it would be a good idea to do that rather than running a cheap guitar through like thousands of dollars of equipment, since obviously the type of person that would buy a 100-ish dollar guitar is probably not someone who wants to spend thousands of dollars on amps or plugins or anything like that. So if you're interested in the plugins that we use, for making the guitar tones. Uh, it's in the description below as well as the pinned comment. So with that being said, we are gonna talk about the specs of this instrument as well as what comes with it because there's actually quite a lot included. Obviously you get the guitar, which is a Stratocaster type guitar. However, it has a humbucker bridge pickup instead of a single coil, which I personally really like because obviously for me, I play metal and having a humbucker is a little easier to deal with than dealing with a single single coil. Single, single coil. That's not what I meant to say. Single, single, a, a single, 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 single coil. <laughs> but yeah, so obviously you get the guitar. This one is the sunburst finish. They also offer a couple of other finishes, like a kind of metallic red, which looks pretty nice. Uh, it of course comes with a whammy bar. In addition to that, it comes with a lot of other stuff. It comes with a gig bag. It comes with a very tiny amplifier. It also comes with a guitar tuner that you can clip onto the headstock. It comes with, of course, the truss rod and bridge adjustment tools. It comes with an extra pack of strings. It comes with uh, five guitar picks. It comes with a capo, capo, am I saying that right? It's a capo, man. Capo, comes with one of those. And a 10 foot patch cable. And last but not least, a guitar strap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So as you can see, this pretty much comes with everything you need to get started on guitar. Obviously this kit is made for people who have probably never played guitar in their life, or perhaps you're a parent who wants to get your kids into playing guitar. I know when I was like 13 years old, my parents got me something similar to this that came with you know a bunch of the things you would need to get going. And that was more than enough for me when I was 13 years old, just figuring out how to play drop tuned power chords. So I guess the only thing left to talk about is the actual guitar itself and how much it costs for this whole kit. So it is $120 US on Donner's website. That's gonna be linked in the description below as well as the pinned comment. And as for the guitar, uh, it's nothing too fancy, obviously, because it is pretty cheap. It's got a maple neck. It's got a laurel fretboard. It's a 25 and a half inch scale length, which is pretty standard for basically all six string guitars. You know, it's similar to what you would get with like a Fender or something like that. Um, and pretty much everything else is just their own brand of hardware, their own brand of pickups and all that. Okay, so now that we've talked about what comes with this guitar kit as well as the guitar itself, we're gonna go over some of the sounds that we got in the mix that we showed you guys in the beginning. 
Like I said, pretty much all of the guitar tones except for one were done using a free plugin by ML Sound Labs called Amped Roots. It's actually a plugin uh, done in collaboration with Fluff. Ryan Bruce, you've probably seen his channel before. So with all that being said, I'm gonna get Johnny over here and we're gonna trade the guitar back and forth, play some riffs and show you guys how this thing sounds outside of a full mix. <laughs> He's like, I put like a hot cube in a thing of mayonnaise. That's pretty funny. Okay, so I got Johnny over here. We're gonna trade this guitar back and forth and maybe play some of the first guitar riffs that we learned back in the day. I'm a weird person. Whoa, I almost dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm weird and I actually learned pretty much all of my first riffs in drop C. It's probably why I'm obsessed with down tuning is because that's how I started. That's what this guitar is tuned to. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and start playing some power chords and see what it sounds like. So this is gonna be in the bridge pickup position using a metal rhythm tone. Again, we're using the ML Sound Labs Amped Roots plugin for tone. It sounds like this. Oh, this got in my way. Get that out get of here. Get it out, you can get it out. Um, I, like, when I started playing guitar though, I uh, played in like E standard, like every normal person oh, for, weird. for a while. Yeah. So I like started with like Hell's Bells and like that kind of shit. A lot of like early Pantera and that kind of stuff. Yeah, but then like I did play drop C forever after. Like after that, drop C was my thing until I got a seven string. Yeah, that's pretty much how it was for me. <clears throat> so I played like everything Kill Switch Engage. Um, and like anything else, like even like early Misery Signal stuff too, and you know, pretty much at, uh, as I lay dying too. Like. That song is dope. I don't know if we're allowed to like that band anymore, but uh, it's up to you, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't play sixes anymore and I don't play in drop C. Yeah, fair So it's like. Hey! <laughs> yeah, man, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was mostly like um, System of a Down was the other one. They were in drop C oh, yeah. forever. Yeah. But what? Sorry. Is that the yeah, that, 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 yeah, they were sick too. <laughs> yeah. But like, I remember my first guitar was similar to this. It was a Behringer. Yeah. But like, way worse. Yeah. Like, it was real. My Behringer was like really bad. This yeah. is like actually pretty damn good for yeah, a it's first solid. guitar. I mean, again, like obviously, it's a. I think it's $120 on their website. Pretty sure that's what I said earlier. Yeah. So it's very cheap, uh, and you get a bunch of stuff with it. I had one of, like, not this brand, of course, but I had a similar deal, like I said, where it was like, you know, a Stratocaster type guitar that came with like a crappy little amp. And I got that when I was 13. And I definitely remember mine not being quite as good as this. I actually still have it over there. Um, it's a watermelon now. Yeah, I tried to refinish it terribly. <laughs> but the thing that I noticed with this guitar is that the fret edges are actually pretty nice. I remember like with a lot of cheap guitars, like the, the edges of the fret like usually cut up your fingers. Mm -hmm. On this one, I don't really find that's the case, which is nice. Um, that's probably the thing that I was the most pleasantly surprised by because that's like the hardest thing to make feel good. Whereas like, you know, pickups are kind of whatever, but you can always switch those. Like electronics, you can swap those. But if a, if a neck is bad or if the fretwork is bad, that's like so hard to and get all. that done properly. Yeah. Um, and also just not worth it on a guitar that's cheap, mm -hmm. honestly. Whereas pickups, like at least if you put them in this guitar, you can take them out and put them in a different guitar later if you upgrade or whatever. But yeah, you know, overall, I mean, it's pretty solid. It's nice that like even too, if if you really wanted to swap the pickup in this for like a different humbucker, yeah, that's what I as mean. It's well, easy. yeah, because like usually it's just uh, single, the single coil. coil, so it's nice having this because like any a lot of my first guitars until I bought my second guitar after my Behringer was a 
Epiphone, Les Paul, mm -hmm. Model 2, which had these, but like this wasn't an option. Before. Right, yeah, yeah. So it was just like all single coil stuff, which yeah. you can I mean, also you, do you, with this, yeah. which is nice, like going between that. Like yeah. it does have that spanky strat mm -hmm. tone still. Well, speaking of, let's switch over to the second tone. Um, I, I just, if we're talking about old stuff that we used to play, I remember uh, I used to collect the Guitar World magazines. I had the subscription from like 2007 to 2012. Mm -hmm. So I would get them every single month and they used to come with the CDs. That had like the lesson thing right, or whatever. Right, right. And there was one with Zach Wilde playing like a super basic blues uh, lead thing, and I've just always played it. So mm. it sounds okay with this. Just like super basic bluesy stuff, but it was right. like cool. But yeah, like it, this is the second position still, yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's like this. Book. I think tune. that's one thing we noticed about this guitar is like it obviously doesn't hold tuning necessarily the best um, but again that's something that you kind of come to expect with cheaper guitars you're just gonna have to tune them up quite more frequently we also do mention that this thing is tuned to drop C true and it's with like what and what what's your string gauge? <laughs> well I have 11 to 54 on it uh, which is what I use on all of my guitars in drop C so but you know I mean I think if you wanted to again since it's a cheap guitar, if you wanted to upgrade it, you could easily throw in like locking tuners, and I'm sure that would help a bit, or like maybe crank the uh, bridge back a little bit to lock it in a bit better. But Yeah, he has uh, the springs on that set pretty tight. Yeah, right I now. pretty much have it so you can like barely use this at all because I don't use it anyways. And yeah. yeah, but I mean, again, it's mostly like I think the tuners, if these were switched to like locking tuners, it would obviously be better. But again, it's $120, and if you feel like upgrading it, you can do that. All right, so we're just gonna move on to the final tone, which is a clean tone. This is the only one that we ended up using a paid plugin for. We went with the Neural DSP Pliny plugin because that's what Johnny and I personally use for basically all of our clean tones anyways. Like I said, we were trying to get some free tones whenever possible with this because I know that this plugin is almost as expensive as the guitar, but it just sounds so good that we decided to use it anyways. Um, yeah, so with that being said, Johnny's gonna start off with a with a clean tone. Yeah, so the thing that I like to play, like when I was younger, what I learned to, you know, play for clean guitar and like practice on other acoustics, if I was trying acoustics or other guitars that I was looking to buy to test the clean tone was a song by as Blood Runs Black, ironically enough, but they had this really simple pr progression with like really basic chord shapes that you could use. I can't remember the name of the song, so somebody tell me what it is. It has like a bass solo in it, but it kind of sounds like this. I'm in uh, third position for that, but like it's... It's pretty good all across the board. Ooh, shit. Yeah, it's got it's a, like little, a, like a little, little bit of drive. Game. Yeah, but no, it's... Uh, i say it's really good and clean. I kind of like... It has a nice warm tone. Pretty similar to a Strat, but... With a humbucker. With a humbucker, yeah. yeah. But yeah, so that's pretty much all we wanted to show in terms of guitar tones for this video. I know that this is kind of a weird like double review, if you will, but with that being said, the only thing left to talk about is our thoughts. So as I've been saying this whole time, obviously this guitar is made for beginners. So we're trying to bear that in mind when we're playing this thing. Uh, obviously it's not a guitar that's geared towards like Johnny and I, when obviously I have, you know, like literally 20 other guitars that are worth four times as much as this. So this is not something that I personally would buy for myself because I don't need it. 
However, like I was saying, 13 year old me, when I first got a guitar for the first time ever for Christmas or something like that, I would be stoked personally. And again, I'm pretty surprised in some ways at the quality of this. Uh, again, it's a beginner guitar, so it doesn't sound amazing, but there are some things about it that are impressive. Mainly for me was the neck. That was the most impressive thing. I love that it is not a gloss finish. First of all, it's got a satin finish on the back, which makes it much nicer to play. I personally hate gloss necks. That's really nice. And again, as I mentioned earlier, the fretwork is actually pretty decent. Um, yeah, so overall, like those are the two main things that I was really hoping would be okay with this guitar. Cause a lot of other things can be fixed. As I was saying, if you don't like the pickups or the tuners, you can get new ones and put them in there, no problem. But good luck trying to refret a guitar or figure out how to make the fretwork better yourself. That is not an easy job and it's very expensive to get someone to do that. So yeah, the main thing that I was concerned with ended up being probably my favorite thing about the guitar. So I was pretty happy to see that. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, what do you think, Johnny? Yeah, I mean, definitely uh, with the neck, My the other thing I liked about it was it's um, not a gloss neck. I don't know. Yeah, like, that's what I was thinking. One, yeah, like it just feels a lot nicer to move your hand up and down it. The neck itself too, the shape is really nice for your hand. It's comfortable, it's not too much. It's not too much of a C neck. It's not like too thin. It's like kind of right in the middle. So like really good for a beginner player. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just thinking of like me, myself, when I got a guitar when I was a kid, it was just plain black. So it's kind of cool to have a tobacco burst. Yeah, like a sunburst, I think yeah, is what it's it, called. It, it's pretty cool. Like I, I like how it looks, like it's pretty cool. It's comfortable to sit with. Um, you have more options for tone with this pickup selection, I find, and it's not very difficult to make it sound good. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, if you're doing like heavy gain stuff, you might have to push your gain a, a bit more yeah. for this. That was kind of what we were running into when we were doing this, but yeah. like... But the, even still, like we use a free plugin, like that's yeah. what I was pretty happy with the results, Get, you know, using something that's completely free with a $120 guitar. Yeah. Like there's not really anything between the guitar and the thing other than, I mean, I guess an interface, but like those are also like under $100 yeah. if you want. So. But we also didn't try like super hard no. to dial in a sick tone because it just like happened. It's pretty easy. It was pretty yeah. easy all across the board. So that's a mixture of like this guitar being easy to work with, the plugin being dope like and it's free yeah the plugin was free yeah. and this is super inexpensive so mm -hmm. even if you're like a parent looking to buy a guitar for your kid this mm -hmm. is like a really good place to start or if you're say. you know even if you, you don't necessarily have to be a kid but even if you're like older and you just don't know if you'll like playing guitar but you want something that's not gonna feel terrible because mm -hmm. trust me like if you try and play guitar and you play like some guitar that's been in your grandpa's closet for 20 years like you're probably not gonna like it yeah so Having a good first impression of guitar when you're learning is is important to some extent. And this, I don't know, like I said, with the frets not being sharp and the neck being like overall pretty good, I feel like that's the main thing that's gonna at least make you feel a little more comfortable playing it. It's not necessarily obviously the best sounding guitar in the world and that's not what it's trying to be. It's just trying to be a guitar that gets you into the mood to play and teach you or what you can learn some of the basics on so. yeah like this won't hinder your learning experience yeah like there are guitars like you said that are built very poorly that make it hard and frustrating to learn and makes people give up yeah but this is definitely not one of those like it feels very smooth and very easy to play if you guys are interested in getting one for yourself or perhaps for a christmas present or something like that there's going to be a link in the description below as well as the pinned comment where you can learn more about the Donner guitar. Also check out their website. They've got a bunch of other inexpensive things like guitar pedals. I think they even have like an electronic drum kit for like under $200 or something. Nice. Pretty crazy stuff. So yeah, go check it out. Also be sure to go check out Johnny's channel. He helped a lot with demoing this guitar. I really wanted to have him on this because he's better at certain things than I am. And I thought it would help showcase some more tones that we can get out of it. And obviously he also helped to write that song that you heard in the intro. So go check his channel out. He's got lots of original music. Obviously we're in a band called Carcosa together. If you're into deathcore, check that out. Um, last but not least, also big shout out to all my Patreon subscribers whose names are gonna be between me and Johnny right about here. Um, if you guys want guitar tabs, audio downloads, stems, shout out on the screen. You can get all that over on the Patreon. That's pretty much all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was informative. Hopefully someone out there, wow, you're yawning during the outro, <laughs> I'm so rude. Tired boy. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully if you want to learn how to play guitar, maybe this might be helpful to you. Go check out the links. That's pretty much all I got to say. Yeah! Slayer. Slayer, brother. Slayer. <laughs>